like that everybody is camping. What I'd like to do for a few seconds after I pray is I'd like for us to see if we could hear a word from the cross this morning. And if you could remain standing while we do that. Father, we've sung about the cross of your son. And we uh, are amazed every time we really do deeply reflect on what it means. And pray that as we stand in silence for a few seconds, that we will hear another word from you this morning from the cross. Seated, please. I hope you heard something from the cross. Uh, you know, this is a kind of an inconvenient thing when you get it up in front of you. It, uh, you know, it, it, it affects everything that you do. Matter of fact, I can't even see all of you right now because of the cross. Not only that, you know, every once in a while I touch these, uh, these thorns and, 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 and it hurts. Sometimes the cross gets in the middle of your life and it's really inconvenient. You know, you don't, when you think about the cross, you don't get to do what you want to do. Sometimes it'll actually come between you and your phone where you can't actually do what you want to do on your phone because... The cross is there. Now, one of the things that the cross, of course, speaks loud, more loudly than anything else, that it speaks love and grace and mercy, and we're really grateful for that. But that's not the only word that Jesus spoke about the cross, is it? He says, if you, if you don't take this, he said, and make it your own, then you can't be my disciple. And we know that's the way Paul described it. He said, you know, I don't want to talk any, about anything other than this. And so even though he probably didn't care, carry a physical cross, he said, the only thing I wanted to talk about when I was among you is the cross. <clears throat> Nothing else mattered. And you see, not only did he talk about it, but that's the reason he could do everything that he did because he said, this same power in this cross cross of Jesus is the power that works in me. Same power. Power is in the cross. And the very fact that we can invite the cross into our lives, we know it's going to be inconvenient, don't we? You know, uh, when you have the cross up front and center, it's hard to talk about yourself very much. Paul said also, Rightly so, I, because I put the cross up, I can't even talk about anything. I can only boast about the cross. 
So as we think about coming to the end of our semester, and many of us are going to be going out into different places, and everybody's going somewhere. Don't go without the cross. You take it up every single day. Not a day needs to pass without taking up the cross, because this will be your guide. It'll be your guide in your relationships. It'll be your guide in your speech. It'll be your guide in how you spend your time. It'll be your guide in how you treat the people around you. It'll be your guide in everything. And Jesus said this one very, very important thing that really is at the center of everything that, we, that we're about. He says, if you lift me up, I'll draw people to myself. But there's a condition there, isn't there? We've got to lift him up. We've got to let people know that we're very, very comfortable, although it brings a lot of inconvenience. We're very, very comfortable having the cross front and center. And even the, uh, even the crown of thorns as painful and as inconvenient as they are. We love them. We love them. So as you, uh, as we call in just a moment for all of us to, uh, who are going to be involved in going abroad this summer and as we, as you think about what you're going to do and what you're going to do with the rest of your life, I hope that the cross will always be in your way.